Hello and welcome uh, back to the medium. Let's just continue. Not much talking here. Okay, the loading of the textures took a while and it's a little weird. Let's see what we have to find here. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? Polish, Polish legends, uh, the dragon of Wawel Hill. Little Red Riding Hood's theater cutout. Oh, why do my teeth fall out? Page 7. Yeah, this is definitely for kids, because uh, if you're a grown-up, your teeth shouldn't be falling out. Okay, we are... Lobby reception, that's where we are. So, yeah. It's Hotel Main Entrance 1. Okay, so down there. Yeah, I'm still a bit, little bit turned around, don't know. I mean, yeah, the red dot means I'm here, I know, but. Sinners be damned. Hotel register. Kowalski, Brunan, Smok, Halina, Maura, Victoria, Zelazo, Boris. Doesn't ring a bell. A vote for Pedro. <laughs> There's a light flickering. That's never a good sign. The star of the Bolshoi Theater, Vivian, the Neva Workers Resort. So I can read, but yeah, okay, doesn't help much. Let's see what else there is before we go into towards the light. Can I take the elevator? Because I doubt it'll be safe. No, I can't do anything here. The Nivo restaurant. The people's taste. Yeah, right. Propaganda everywhere. The day room, the safest place for the youngest. Yeah, this place looks basically like Chernobyl. Chernobyl in English. So we have here. There's something here. Travel in style, travel in comfort. There's another book here, a uh, book, a magazine, not a book. No, hold on, I want to read. Spring, news information and practical advice for a modern lady. The Forefathers Wells, a new literary bestseller by Joanna Kmilieweska. I don't know. Readers ask, expert respond. 10 sewing techniques for fashionable skirts. Yeah, this is not a sexist magazine at all. So, can we go here? No. Okay, let's go toward the light. There's nothing on the stairs, right? No. Maybe in maybe in the, the alternate world that we can go to apparently. Maybe in that we can go up the stairs. Quality quality time by the lake. 
And yeah, those uh, reflections here on the right, yeah. RTX, just fucking awesome. See it all the time in Cyberpunk 2077 as well. Ooh. My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. All right, let's see if we can find Thomas. <gasps> Hello? Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. <laughs> I have to be honest here, I played the first two episodes in a row and now I haven't played the game in a week, so I barely remember a how to play the game uh, in terms of controls and actually what happened, so it's kind of a new discovery for me. We've seen that. That's a name. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Something happened to them? Uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Famous I, last word. I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I'm Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Mary 
I can't go that way. Gail, I need to get up there somehow. Wow, so a traumatized ghost child in an old dilapidated hotel, all alone, all by herself. And the visual design is amazing. I go through that door. Why didn't I check behind the register when I started? Oh well. There's nothing here. I love this dual reality thing. And I was partially right. There is a way up now. I just can't go there because, you know, in reality... Yeah. Because <laughs> in reality there's nothing there. But she can go up there. So I was kind of right with that. Let's see, there's no way to get through here. But in the other world, there is. Wow, sometimes the frame rate just craps all over itself. I've got nothing. Okay, so I need something so I can get through the... I might have to turn on some of the graphics just so I can stay at a locked, more locked frame rate because I'm afraid the slowdowns might really cause problems. Can I take anything here? No, it's just an ashtray, right? Nothing here. Okay. Is there something? Hey, an elevator. Might as well see if it works. I already been here and there was nothing and it didn't work. Are you kidding me? This hotel is about five minutes away from falling apart. I'm not supposed to get on an elevator here. Are you stupid? Well, might as well. One, two. Right. So we're here. So, yeah, let's go one by one. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Yes, that's true. It's the only thing she remembers, so her life must not have been fun. It's the only thing she remembers is sadness. Oh, okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... I fucking told you. Let go. Oh, so I can go... I have an out-of-body experience. That is so fucking amazing. There. A fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, the frame rate here dies down to nothing. I'm gonna try and change the graphical settings and hope the recording doesn't break. Uh, okay, let's just try for fun. Turn off ray tracing because that usually does the trick. Yeah, suddenly it's perfectly fine. Okay, we're good. yeah, we're gonna see how it looks without ray tracing because it's a really nice detail. But if the frame rate is just crapping over the place so often, then I might have to leave it off. Okay, there's a. F Why? Oh, because I'm stuck in the elevator. Okay, can I? An out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Okay, I want to get. I think there was an energy source here, right? Oh, I didn't even check down here. Before, I mean. <gasps> nice. Now we have another one. We go out again. And. Uh -huh. Ah, it works. Okay. Nice. That was cool. It's just such a cool idea. I like the concept. It's, you have to turn on your brain, which is why it might take me a while sometimes. 
Please be patient. Okay, we are here. E are the elevators. Okay, so now I know where I am. <coughs> I have to go down this hall and uh, to the left if I want to get to the exercise room. I mean, there's nothing on this map, so I guess... There's a hole in the ground. I assume I can't jump. Hmm. Whoa, holy shit. The art of international acclaimed painter Richard Tarkovsky. For the first time in the Nevo Resort, June 14th to July 30th, 1982. 1982, wow. Okay, this time I can't go up because in the spirit world there's no stairs there. Interesting. So do I have to take the elevator up? Because... Why can't I just leave this world, the spirit world, and go up in the material world and then come back to the spirit world? Okay, maybe I cannot do anything here. I mean, I can look at this, but there's nothing I can do here, right? So, can't move anywhere here. Okay, so I can have another spot experience in one direction, so only in the... Oh, can I walk over here? No, I can't, okay. But I can't go the other way, just in the material world. I mean, having an out-of-body experience in the spiritual world would be weird anyway. Let's see if we can go one more floor up. Maybe this was just like a tutorial thing. she go okay we're at the red floor it seems you are here manager's office I assume manager's office might be useful it's at the far end of the hall or the meeting rooms it's weird because you have to keep track of both up and the material world and the spiritual world top of the screen and below huh. What is that? <gasps> this game looks so awesome, even without RTX on. With without ray tracing. I'm calling it RTX, but it's the name of the graphics card. Without ray tracing, it still looks amazing. Okay. Okay. Not getting through here. Hmm. Okay. You can just have an out of party experience and run somewhere else. But right now we don't have to. It's just cool that I can do that anywhere. And not just in designed places. Okay. Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Indeed. If anyone's wondering, I'm still playing with mouse and keyboard, even though a controller would be perfectly fine. I forgot about uh, that I could, or that I wanted to maybe switch. Oh, so I can go through here now. Sweet. Uh, that is one hell of a key. Yeah, the design is so awesome, so creepy, so weird, so kind of a bit like Alien. You know, the total HR Giger look, but not really. Okay, let's go back to the door where I needed the key.
Okay, so I can't go back because these things are here. Okay, can we close the door? These things are... I don't like insects. No, we can't. Okay, thank you, game. Okay, I don't know where to go first. I always have to look back and forth in both worlds so I don't miss anything. I might have already missed something that was obvious to anyone watching. Okay. Why can I look here? There's nothing from what I can see to do. Maybe on the other side. Okay. A toilet in the spirit world seems interesting. Cannot go through door. Okay. Way. Yeah, but I don't want to go down yet. Can I go outside? No, right? Maybe I can spirit walk my way out. Nope. Too bad. I also don't know how long I'm supposed to make these episodes. I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how, how long to make these episodes, because I don't want to just make them 20 minutes long, because then it's just way too annoying to... They're just too short for such a game. I'm gonna make it probably, I don't know, between half an hour and an hour, probably. Whoa! Don't fall apart on me now. I mean, assuming we play in the modern times, like around the year 2020, this building has been being abandoned for like 30 or 40 years. This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. Sounds like she died here, maybe. Oh, got nothing. Oh, you can put flowers in here, I assume. Okay. In the spirit world, it looks completely different. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. Okay. It's like it's missing something. Yeah, I have to put flowers in, then the spark becomes more, then I have energy. Okay, got it. Okay, what's in here? Is there anything in here if I walk toward the camera? No? Uh, hold on. L look on the left at her eyes if I walk towards the camera. Okay, nothing. Okay. I was just imagining it. I thought her eyes were rolling up uh, in the real world as she's walking. So that would be weird. Ooh, I can go out. I mean, I can't do anything, apparently. This world is so awesome. Whoa, oh, whoa, shit. holy shit. This is falling apart. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Looks like I'm in for another dive. No. Come at me, Ursula. Nope. Then... There's nowhere else I can go, right? Well, I can't run either. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. An old prescription. I know these drugs. I don't. All too well. Pipovazine Buspiron. Date of birth. Holy shit. Uh, 24th of May 1930. 
Ursula Roskowski, diagnosed with depression, hysteria, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition, treated with electroshock. Yeah, that's a treatment, you fucking idiots. Refilled six times. Uh, age 41, weight 53 kilos. Date on the, res on the uh, prescription is uh, June 14th, 1971. Treated with electroshock, that is never a good sign. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. You mean squeeze literally? Sunflower weary of time for my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. That's nice. Something sweet around here. Almost impossible to believe. Okay, what? Shit, if... There are thousands of them. Jesus Christ! Okay. Need more energy to get through. Yeah, how about a nuclear weapon? Okay, I guess we have to go through the balcony. Okay, I cannot walk here. Okay. Is that? Skin. It fucking looks like it. Oh, I can touch it. Oh, I cannot do anything. Great. So I can't do anything here. Oh, I can. That's what you meant by plunge. I hate this. The walk about in the spirit world. I need like a knife or not a memory. Not a memory where apparently I can't do anything. It's weird. Um, what the fuck? Okay, so I can't do anything here yet. What the fuck? Holy shit. Fuck you. My heart is in my mouth right now. It's a miracle she didn't stop astral projection at that point. Yes, go near her. That's a stupid idea. I would never put my hand in there, even if it's just my astral hand. <gasps> this thing isn't a razor, it's guilt, shame, regret. Okay, so someone committed suicide here and just scared the living shit out of me. Ow, oh, that almost hurt. So maybe I should stop astral projection now because is this little Jack something? Yeah, it's, it's not a feeling. The farther I go away or the longer I'm here, the more my spiritual body is falling apart it seems. So don't astral project too long. If only I had something sharp. Well I do now. I mean don't know if it's sharp. Fine. Great. Jeez, this this game's gonna give me a heart attack, isn't it? Okay, there's a plant here, but I wanna get to the memory first. Fucking frame rate, I have turned RTX off. Don't fuck around with me now. My system is definitely power enough, powerful enough to hold to 
play this game well on 60. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Yeah, that's... And he might also have been the one who... You know, he was in a wheelchair, maybe he just didn't want to live like that, and he committed suicide in the bathtub with a razor. It's horrible to think about. All right. This could be useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. There I go back into the... I can't do anything here. I thought maybe in the real world there'd be a skeleton here or something. Although I assume he died here when the thing, when the place was still running, so... They of course would have taken his body away. Yeah, I look into the mirror and get scared from behind, I mean. You... <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. <laughs> you don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. <laughs> there have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Which, in your world, is a valid fear. But I definitely know the the feeling. Ending, wanting to end, end it all. I mean, I've been there. Or let's just say I've been in the area. And leave it at last. So, right, that's where I wanted to go. Nice. All right, now I can go out and kill all the insects, right? Or, oh, hold on, was this red before? Okay. It looks like an electric light, but there, there's no, no, nothing here after all these years that's still running, right? I hate Insects. Go away, stupid insects. Can't do anything here. Oh, now I can run suddenly. Now I can't run. This game is very, very weird when I can run and when I can't run. Anything in the basket? No. Okay. Waste basket. I mean. Oh, this is just a dead end. I thought I was going in and not seeing anything. Okay, hold on. Let me. Because I can definitely walk in here. Where I cannot walk in the real world. Can I walk down? Well, no, because in the spirit world there's nothing there. Elevator. Okay. Can go up in both realities. There could be anything hiding on any one of those screens in both sides, and I might miss it because there's two worlds to think about. Come on, this can't be that heavy.
Right. Before we go through there, look around and go up some more because I can. Okay, there's nothing here. Well, worth a try. Okay, let me just try now. Route tracing. I'm gonna try to turn it on for a second, see if I... If there's much of a difference. It runs perfectly fine like this, until it suddenly doesn't. So... Yeah, I gotta play around with the settings a little. Okay. Should I have checked the other side first? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I, I can run here, nice. And that's all I can do here. There's nothing here, okay. See how the body is qualitatively getting worse? That's the longer you stay in spirit form. Doesn't seem to be anything here, so we keep going. Hey, there's an open door. Wait, am I just going in circles? Have I been here? Yeah, yeah, of course I've been here. I, now I'm up again, I remember. Because I jumped down here and I went forward. Okay. I'm a dumbass. I really hope the recording is fine with uh, the frame rate. I'm trying to record at 60, the game just doesn't want to seem to run at 60. This thing looks strong. You're still, yeah, it still has the razor blade. Okay, good. That is so weird. Oh no. Oh, I can run. Okay. Run! So they haven't killed me. Little girl, sadness, where are you? Can I find your name somewhere around here? Uh, read. Wow. Reclaiming history. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski. A once impenetrable defense or fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of the Niva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the first secretary who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite, respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Yeah, fucking propaganda. Liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. Yeah, no, that's not happening. The Niva Workers Resort will welcome its first guests by the end of June. Yeah, no, it won't. Is there anything different on the back? No, it isn't. Okay. Can I... I always like going towards the camera in these rooms because just looking at close-up of my character is just so good looking. I mean, the quality of the character and she's good looking as a woman gotta be honest it's almost complete the main building turned out better than expected now it's just a matter of finishing up the less 
less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took some doing to convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it Niwa. Hmm. Can't turn it around. Old invoices. Outdated documents. <laughs> Wonder why someone put them out here. Good question. I cannot turn them around. I cannot read them, so... Hmm. Oh, hold on. There's something else. Okay, I can't really do anything, say anything. Can't turn it around. Thomas Records. Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. Easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? Uh, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know! Old men all look the same, all wrinkly, <laughs> and all blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. <laughs> sadness? Okay, it seems that Sadness was so scared, she just evaporated. Her character design is so amazing. I don't know if, she's, if she knows she's missing an arm. That's what I want to know. It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Ah, uh, locked. Yeah, but there's a glass window, you can break it. I mean... But okay, we'll try not to destroy everything. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. That is war, even for the time, one of the worst pictures I've ever seen. I mean, can you make it much more blurry? Or are these ghosts in the background? I wouldn't be surprised. Not in this place. There's knives on the wall. Take him. What the hell happened here? That's a good question. It still works. Someone's been using it. it a 30-year-old flashlight that still works? Okay. Oh god, this is gonna get so creepy, Too isn't small it? To fit a door. Hmm. Well, it's obviously for the clock, isn't it? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently to call me. Okay. Burn marks, broken glass, and. Is that salt? 
How did someone call me from that phone? I mean, it was probably a psychic call or something, but... Someone jotted this down recently. To do. Three. Get up. Don't turn off that alarm clock. That's weird. 3.15. Medication. 3.30. Double check the forest path. 4. Get to the hotel. Clear out the old papers. 5. Get on with the research. Develop photos if there's time. Uh, 7. Wow, that took two hours. Uh, double check the office. Books. And 9. Check up on L. L. Maybe that's a girl. Lisa, maybe. Leonie. Wow, if you look on the spirit side, it looks so just freaky, creepy, and cool. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Can we there time travel? We Probably not, right? Oh, wait. I can change. That's as far as it goes. Oh there. my fucking god. Is that... that is such a cool idea. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Yes, so, I can look at him. Don't do it. I can't. We must. I don't know what he was talking about. Let's go to the next one. Wrong direction. Something's wrong. It's coming. Hmm, what's coming? Shit. I thought I had it this time. It's They're like... taking too long. What am I missing? I assume it's like a combination of a switch to open that door. Far back in So this was the first time it was open. Around seven, ten to seven. Then five after five it's open. A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. Okay, I can't go back any further. Let's take an energy because energy is always good. Can I look at his reflection or whatever you call that imprint? I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I just thought. Gotta check the wire. I hate to get stuck in there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh god, is there, am I gonna find this corpse in there? Alright, let's walk through here. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. That is a huge room considering it's a secret room. here? Nope. Did I switch somewhere? There's nothing here, right? Hmm. 
No. Let me try walking here again. Maybe I have to press a button. Uh, wrong side. Turn around. Go inside. Yes. We have to press a button here in order to open it up. What's with the death ring on the floor? Just to be on the safe side. Okay, now how do I open it in the real world? changed right Is there anything different here because it's a different time now right there's something here no it's just okay it's just light reflecting Tell. What am I missing? The wiring. Oh, hold on. The wiring went across along the wall, right? So is there a switch somewhere over here? Hold on. Oh, his signature. So he designed this whole place? Who? Are you Thomas Rekovich? That is a good question. Well, I thought this was maybe a switch, but no. Thought there might be a switch behind the, the, the painting, the painting, the frame. Okay, what am I missing? A book I have to touch or something? Bring it all the way forward in time. This hasn't done anything, right? Nothing to click. I'm probably missing something very obvious. Hmm. Switch? I mean, it doesn't look like that. Even if there's a switch, it doesn't look like it would have survived here, honestly. Hmm. Okay, how do I... Uh, I am stupid, aren't I? I'm afraid that I, that, I, that I just missed something very obvious. Never bad to have energy. Oh, but right, it's closed here. I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. <laughs> open oh, gotta check the wire I hate to get stuck in there Hmm. 
I see it here with inside, but I can't go there, right? Oh, I have to... Okay, uh, yes. Uh, I knew I was gonna feel stupid. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. <laughs> Never get used to this. Yeah, I mean, you probably shouldn't. Okay, now we can just look oh. at a normal world. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Yeah, it's either spy things or. Okay, developer, stop path, fixer. Okay, don't forget about red light, light five seconds, and then light, time in each tray, three seconds. Okay, that's mine now, I assume. Okay, I know how this works. <laughs> I need three liquids to develop the photo. Okay, so... Okay, I can't use it yet because there's no liquid in here, right? One here. That's one. Two more to go. It's the third one I need. Right? Yeah, developer, stop path, fixer. Right. Developer, stop path. Nope. Doesn't work. Suppressing. Suppressing, huh? Hmm, the supernatural. Not sure I like the sound of that. Yeah, no. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Oh no, that's not like good. a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means no, I'll find another way. That does not sound good. Maleficarium, Hammer of the yeah. Witches. What? Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Yeah, this does. All of this stuff doesn't sound good. Your first step to photo development. Right, so that's the first one, I guess. And this should come in handy. Was I missing a tray? I thought, well, probably, I guess. Where is... Shit! Sadness? This isn't funny! Sadness? Why am I not surprised? Keep it together, Marianne. Let's see what's in here. I need the third liquid. Oh. Okay. Never That's mind. That's all of them. How did I not see that? No, never mind. Okay. No. So I can't just... Looks like there's so. a train missing. Yeah. So... I don't know, this was the second one, right? Just from, because I can't click on it to read it, because then I'm selecting it like this. Was it a little weird? Okay, one, two, three. Red light, five seconds. It starts with the red light, right? Don't forget about the red light. Lights, five seconds, and then time in each tray, three seconds. All right. Well, uh, hold on. Is that the right? If you go out, it doesn't seem red, but... It is red, right? Yeah. 
All right. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What do we got? Maybe full of the little girl? Let's see if she has two hands, huh? Wait, what the fuck? Is that me? What the hell? Who's there? Jesus Christ, this looks weird. What? What the fuck is this? Stop the episode, but I have to all run. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, this thing is huge. Alone. Make it. Jesus Christ, this guy is fucking huge. Oh, God. No. very fast. I thought I was maybe done with it, but okay, let's continue. The episode is very long already, but I can't stop it here. Are you kidding me? Wait! Don't go! Jesus Christ. The perspective is so fucking awesome. Hello. Make it. Let me try you on. Oh God! No! Damn it! He he came from in front of me. I didn't see that. I thought he was behind me, and then suddenly he ends up in front of me. The spirit blast I wanted to try, but it didn't work in that second when I was caught. Maybe I pressed it too late. Jesus Christ. Wait. Don't go. Run. Oh, God. Don't leave me here. No, you. You. Damn it, damn it, fuck. I tried to turn too early and got stuck in a corner. Okay, 
this is intense. Jesus Christ. Maybe this would have been better with a controller. I don't know. Wait. Don't go. Oh, God. Don't leave me. You have to watch out that I don't turn too early. Hello. Fuck, run! Okay, I'm pressing space, nothing's happening. Run, 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 run. Little mouse pack doesn't work either. Not a fan of light, huh? Figures. Yeah. Wow, that escalated quickly. Jesus. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode here because wow, that was intense. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you look forward to the next episode as much as I do. Thanks. Bye.